Today is the nation's 246th birthday. Now, a few images capture the celebratory spirit as much as fireworks, but this year the occasion will be different for some. And CBS's Carter Evans explains. We honor our freedom with patriotism and pyrotechnics. But the skies tonight will be quiet in dozens of towns. Salt Lake City canceled fireworks shows due to drought and wildfire concerns. Minneapolis and Sacramento couldn't find enough workers. And cities like Phoenix can't get fireworks due to shipping delays. Is there a lot of demand this year because people haven't seen these big displays for so long? Yeah, there's a huge demand. American Pyrotechnics Association President Stephen Pelkey says suppliers were only able to fill about 75% of fireworks orders. West Coast has probably been hit the hardest because those companies that are relying on the Port of L.A., a lot of those companies have been waiting two, three, four months for their inventory. You say 90 percent of your fireworks come from China. 90 percent of the fireworks come from China, and we were really relying on the last few containers to get here. Jim Souza's fifth generation family company, Pyro Spectaculars, nearly went out of business during two years of pandemic lockdowns and canceled shows. This year, his fireworks yeah. barely made it. Yeah. Fire. They should have been here in April, and they just arrived last Thursday and Friday. Wow, so right down to the wire. We're right down to the wire. Tonight, some cities will illuminate the night sky with drones and laser beams. But whether it's fireworks or another alternative, organizers just want you to enjoy the show. Come together with family and friends. Just celebrate. Look to the skies. I'll do the rest for you. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.